Hello, dirty old geezers. Um, I actually forgot to put a center of mass on a mug, but that's not what we're here for. Today we're going to be looking at that motor. Yeah, that's right. It's assembled. It's actually a pretty easy process. Um, and the scuffage on the sticker is from just fitting it to this guy. I'm not going to launch it on that guy, but yeah. Um, it, it, was, it's, it is fun to build. Um, imagine I don't need gloves to handle it now. So, you know, here's the nozzle. I thought the nozzle was graphite. I don't think it is. It's just like some sort of powder coating it, you know. And then you see I had to put in the delay charge. I put that in there. I was right. Stuffed in the black powder. Loaded that cap in. You know, it was nice to build, but I wanted to compare it to some of the other motors I have. So... Now starting off, here's the old, here's a pretty basic standard, like the first motor, the B64. You know, a little, really tiny 18 millimeter one as opposed to this 29 millimeter beast. You can tell it's really huge. I mean, the, I mean the size of its nozzle, well, I mean, in diameter. It, it's, yeah, I mean, this thing, tiny compared to it. And then, yeah, there are C motors, but I want to look at the next diameter, you know, a D motor. So even this, it's, it's still tiny compared to it. So, those are two very small motors. I don't have an E motor on hand, but I do have this F motor. And this one is the main one I wanted to compare it to. Um, so, you'll look at it. They are about the same size, which, you know, that's pretty wild. That shows kind of the, uh, <coughs> excuse me, uh, energy. Increased energy of, of uh, ammonium perchlorate propellants as opposed to black powder. I mean, they are just about the same size. And also, you look at, so this is, yeah, double the uh, total impulse compared to this, to this guy. You know, this one's about 50. Um, this, this one is about, what's it? Um, about like 110, so even more than double. Um, and also, the energy. I mean, this is an F-15 motor, so uh, 15 newtons, around 4, a little a bit less than 4, quite a bit less than 4, like even like maybe 3 newtons, or pounds of force average. This is four, 78. That's crazy. Um, I mean, that's like around 20 pounds of force. Uh, and that, that, that's just pretty wild. That's, that's cool. Um, and yeah, and obviously this looks a lot cooler. And this, um, you know, the pretty cheap nozzle. This guy also has the uh, motor mount ring pre-installed. You have to, like, use masking tape, as I've done here. And you know how that works. Take yourself a uh, motor retainer. I'm not going to put this guy in there because, as I said, it's a bit too tight of a fit. But this one's fine. You know, it just goes in there. You see that it's stopped by that tape, and then you, you just screw uh, this guy on there, you know, and that, would, that keeps the motor in. This has already has it pre-built in there, and that's pretty nice. I like that. Um, of course, and also another thing, this is a nice thing about the propellant, right? You drop this guy from like the table, a table's height, I'm not gonna do it, obviously, still. It's probably gonna be fine. Obviously, you wanna still, you know, inspect it, see if there's any issue. This, you drop this, you wanna be a bit cautious because, I mean, see, I might have a nice one to feel it, but, you know, the, the black powder propellants are uh, hydraulically pressed in, and so they are rock solid. You, I mean, I can't, I can't reach my finger in there, but, yeah, I can't reach my finger in there to tap it. Take a little brush. And that's rock solid, you know. And but it's it's still you know that soft propellant. But I mean it's still a powdery uh, mixture. So I mean it fractures easily, and if it fractures, that's imbalanced burn. Imbalanced burn means increased pressure. Here, you don't want increased pressure, and that could mean explosion. Um, and that's not good, but looking at that uh, two stage or that bottom stage, that does show like one of the few benefits of black powder versus perchlorate. 
And that is, you're able to do something like this. You're able to take a bottom stage and just let the ashes from the burning propellant ignite the next stage. You can't do that with this. And that comes from the fact that one, um, black powder burns linearly. So you light it off around here and it just burns off this way. You know, it gets to the delay charge and then it gets to the, uh, what's it, the um, ejection charge at the end. This stuff, it burns outwards and then you also have the igniter back here, and that will start the delay charge. And the delay is a much longer burning delay than something in here. So while this is burning outwards, once this burns outwards, then the delay but keeps burning for, like in this case, another 10 seconds. Then it hits the ejection charge. But yeah, because it burns outward, um, right, it burns outward. There's no delay, no ejection. So there's the burning ashes come out this way. But if it's burning outwards, you can't really uh, do that. You can't just wait for this to burn out to start that. You have to do electronic um, ignition for the second stage. And of course, that proves the issue of, uh, it's kind of hard, you know. This, this kind of motor, it's harder to ignite, less reliable to ignite than this stuff. And so you also need a powerful enough battery to provide the ampage and wattage and voltage or whatever to uh, um, ignite that. And that's kind of the big problem. Also, this, this stuff's, uh, toxic. I mean, hydrochloric acid, not really something you want to breathe in, like, bramium, bromium, I forgot what it was, uh, whatever motor, whatever metal is in this Mojave green, that's the chloride of that, that's not very good either, so, two things, you don't want to breathe in this stuff, it's, it smells like butthole, but it's not too bad, it, not bad for you really at all, and, of course, you can dispose of these this kind real easy, you know. You find this some issue, just ch chuck it in a bowl of water, wait 24 hours, and it'll be all dissolved. You can use that water to water your plants or whatever, because, I mean, that stuff makes pretty good fertilizer. Just about every part of this is fertilizer. This stuff, you know, one, this plastic's not gonna um, dissolve in water, and, you know, the stuff inside is pretty gross. Um, yeah. Oh, and did I mention? Yeah. Uh, this stuff, the reason it doesn't fracture as you drop it most of the time is because it's cast into a rubbery propellant, or not propellant, rubbery uh, binder. So it's like rubbery, and so it's tougher. You know, you drop rubber, it's less likely to shatter than like glass. Um, and, you know, glass is far harder than rubber. So because of that, it breaks easier. It shatters easier. Um, and I think that's all I got. All I have for us today. Um, crap, there was something else I wanted to mention. Um, but can't really think of it. So forgetting it can't be too important, I guess. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Look forward to some launches. You know, you'll see this stack launched. You'll see this guy launched. Uh, this guy. And you'll eventually see this guy launched. Also, actually... Uh, this F motor is heavier than the G motor, it's, so there's also that, and yeah, also, yeah, okay, price, that's what I was thinking of, price, this was 50 bucks, this was, uh, like, um, 40 bucks for a two-pack, so, I mean, it's not really that much worse, this is double the power, um, but, I think like a G motor at this scale would cost even more than this because you would have to you have to double the propellant amount. You need a lot more propellant, and also it's just not not effective. I mean, one as as you know, the uh, burn energy isn't the greatest. You know, so you can only hit up to like fifteen. That's like the highest I've seen a black powder go up to is fifteen uh, average units of thrust. And eventually, at such a large motor, you know, even if you hit you, that's not going to be good. You know. And two, it's, you know, they got to make a new machine. They can machine produce these, which is why they're cheap at small scales, but they have to make a new bigger machine for each bigger size. This, they just have to cast, so it's kind of one size fits all. So that's what I was thinking of. So there, there we go. We're approaching 10 minutes. If I was monetized, I'd stall a bit longer and uh, cram 80 mid-roll ads into this video. You know, every, every time I say motor, there'd be an ad. But yeah, anyways. Later nerds.